here in the diaspora love is hard to build it's hard not just to build it's it takes it takes a very thick shell to maintain hello <laughs> ah it's me winnie here again guys <laughs> welcome back guys welcome back to another video good morning good afternoon good evening according to the time you're coming across this video so our new subscribers ah, welcome 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 and to our OGs, i had you guys big time from the title of this video i know you guys already understand or have a hint of what we are going to be discussing on this video today it's my first year again guys so we'll be talking about relationship and marriage in fact love life here in the diaspora some people say here in the diaspora there is no love some people say the others say there is no respect why some others say what they have in place of relationship is situationship all right so many things like so many words to to qualify or so many words people use in place of love in place of relationship in place of marriage in place of like love life in general here in the diaspora some men think ladies don't respect their husbands and some women think men don't provide enough for them so these are the basic things we'll be addressing here today unlike where i come from in nigeria relationship are built on the foundation of love I know now that people are being selfish people people go into relationship for their selfish interest and selfish reasons but other than that there are still persons who go into relationship or into marriage for the basics love understanding and commitment you get but here in the diaspora, love is hard to build. It's hard not just to build, it's, it, takes, it takes a very thick shell to maintain. I'm not talking about the monetary fat now, I'm not talking about because you are in the diaspora, you need to spend, 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 spend. No. I'm talking about that so many people here in the western world unlike other places i actually do use nigeria basically that your mental health is okay you are not suffering from mental health you are not suffering from depression you have anxiety problem it's easy to build but you see here there are thousands of people, if not millions, that are suffering from depression, that are depressed. Some of them, they have anxiety problem. They are suffering from mental health. Because of that, and sometimes because of the bills, the outrageous bills people pay here, in the diaspora makes them tend to 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 get weak let me not say fall out of love because it's hard for people to fall out of love it's just that there is no strong understanding for the other person to understand that this person needs a little hand you get here also People tend to grow weak because of work. Like I said, do it yourself is the watchword here. 
For instance, if you're a full-time housewife, I know about several full-time housewives in Nigeria who still have maids and helps that help them with their domestic chores. Some even have nannies that help them with their kids. Why here in the diaspora, let me finish up with the Nigeria, why their husbands, majority of them are business owners. Some of them, they are not answering Sama to anybody. You get. <laughs> Unlike here, some mothers or some wives here tend to have three, four, five, some even have six kids. On top of it, they are a wife. And some of them are not working, which we all understand having to juggle around six kids, five or four or three, or even two, in addition to the house chores or the domestic chores, plus being able to take care of yourself individually as the mother, the wife, being able to take care of yourself is a job, is challenging. Not to talk of adding to that some people are actually workers. Some people do still go to work. So, some of them, they don't go to work. They are full-time housewife, like I said earlier. Some of them, they, they are still busy, like doing chores. Their husband who goes to work will come back and still meet them doing chores. And some of them, instead of asking nicely, honey, please, or I don't know the pet name you give your spouse, please, can you help me out with this? Why I do this? I'm sorry I'm not done with everything before you came back. Welcome and how was work today? Some of us thinks that the man should know and understand that it is tedious to be at home, juggle around the kids, do the house chores, cook, and the man should like should just understand on its own i know some men do understand don't get me wrong some men do understand but if you are married to that man who feels that because you are at home you should have been like you should be done with all the things you ought to do before he that is coming from work should come back from work. He's not a bad person. It doesn't mean that he doesn't love you. It doesn't mean that he's, he's a bad man. Or it doesn't mean that there is no love in Europe like you say it. It only means that you need to let him know that I need help. You get it? I want you to assist me. Do you get? You don't just... I know that majority of us here in the diaspora feel like, you know they see, are you not seeing me? Are you not seeing that I'm dying? Aren't you supposed to help me? That's why you have a mad woman. To talk, to ask. Even the Bible say ask. You get. You should be able, not just, see, I'm making this video to beg us, the wives, the mothers, and the ladies here in the diaspora. I'm making this video to beg us all. Mind, if you want to talk to somebody, bring your tone down. Don't talk to people because you feel that they are sharing the same space with you that you guys are supposed to just the person is just supposed to just be you when i mean be you in the sense that 
you want to ask somebody for a favor and you're yelling it, it makes no sense if for me if you're asking me to do something and you are yelling i won't do that i won't even try it i'm sorry you need help we know you need help ask nicely i have seen women or ladies and the diaspora who thinks that when they are working their money is for themselves they don't have to to support the home front they don't have to support the family when i mean the family your husband and your kids your home in general i have seen women or ladies who feel like because I am working and my my husband is working so his salary is supposed to be for the home front like he's supposed to be his money is supposed to be what we use to run the home why the lady's salary is supposed to be for her pocket and so naturally justify their claim with if I decide to buy myself Brazilian hair, they say they are doing the husband or the man a favor. I don't know, guys. But it's not. You're not doing that man a favor. You are only satisfying your greed. You are only satisfying your wants. 